All right, welcome everybody, Eugene Hughes Motorized. So this is the intro. It's gonna be about 17 parts. Got the list of what we're gonna go over. I'll put it up there. Um, 17 parts, I'm gonna set up a playlist. Look down there, every couple of days starting from today, I'm gonna to be updating and adding the new videos that we got on this list here. So one thing I recommend you keep around that you have for your build is gonna be a uh, nice tub of uh, axle grease for greasing up all the bearings and the your steerer tube and your wheels and the like. And impact, cordless impact driver would be nice. At the bare minimum, at least one of these hammer powered impact tools for loosening up stubborn screws and the like. A file set, you want a flat file, a half round file, a rat tail file. Soldering iron would be nice if you want to solder up the, uh, the wires for the CDI and the like out of the engine, a pair of tin snips. Allen wrench hex key set. A pin punch will come in handy if you need to break the chain. If you're uh, using a very crude method to break the chain, at least a small pin punch. Pin punch set. A chain breaker tool. An assortment of screwdrivers. An assortment of wrenches. Definitely need that 10 millimeter wrench, 8 millimeter wrench, 13, 14, and, uh, da -da -da, and a 13 millimeter wrench. Crescent wrench, an adjustable wrench, quarter inch drive set with uh, metric sockets on it there. Of course, you need that 10 millimeter wrench. Some Teflon tape, uh, the, uh, the yellow kind that's rated for gas and the like, for uh, securing up the petcock on the gas tank. An angle grinder with a flap disc. Now, you might be able to borrow that from somebody. And a cutting disc. We might need that to uh, cut the... Uh, the exhaust to help bend the exhaust, but we'll get into that when we uh, cover installation of the exhaust. Of course, you're going to be using power tools. You're going to need uh, some sort of eye protection face shield. Uh, we got a fine adjustment tool. Never know when you need to persuade something. I use this uh, cheater bar here. This is a one inch piece of tubing, and you can use that to help back up and uh, hold the brake arm if we need to take the brake arm off the wheel a large crescent wrench which you can also use to hold the brake arm a bench vise, a nice heavy bench vise which I use to hold the wheel you might need that also to uh, to bend the brake arm if we need to do that and of course one bench grinder is not absolutely required but hey it may be helpful to have a bench grinder around and if you got something uh, you could use as an anvil, heavy piece of steel or whatever would come in handy as well. Also a bike stand if you can get it or rig one up. Now I'm sure you can check some other videos, some other ideas of ways to make a bike stand so you can hold the bike and support it while you install everything on it. Okay, so that concludes part one. Check below where it says Q's Motorized. Go to Playlists. That we'll find part two. If you have any questions about what we're going to be doing installing the 66cc, put them down below. I can't promise I'll get to all your questions there. Now as well, check out my group on Facebook, Hughes Motorized. You got any detailed questions, put them there. If I, if I can't answer it as well, someone else on my page will be happy to answer it, help you out. You can post pictures and we'll give you more detailed help than we can do here on YouTube. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up, click subscribe, you'll get updates of my new videos coming on this series here. Thanks for watching.